oil hovers around $77 a barrel. Complaints being made about the Toyota Prius, Shell trying to get into the ethanol business, and Nike entering a sustainability community. This is the Daily Energy Report. Hello and welcome to the Daily Energy Report for Wednesday, February the 3rd. I'm Ben Lack and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. Leading off, oil is hovering around $77 a barrel today as the Energy Information Administration is expected to release key inventory data about the U.S.'s supply and demand. The National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration has said that more than 100 complaints have been made about the braking system in the Toyota Prius and two of those complaints have resulted from injuries sustained from car accidents. According to the Kyoto News Service, a sensor in the system that controls braking power might be malfunctioning when it receives a strong shock. The most common result has been a sudden reduction of braking ability while slowing down on bumpy roads, but it's enough of an issue for Toyota to receive orders from the Japanese Transportation Ministry to investigate the complaints. Oil tycoon Shell has partnered with Brazilian industrial company Cosin to take shared control of the world's largest sugar processor. Cosin will provide assets, its production facilities, and an ethanol trading unit, while Shell will contribute $2 billion in cash, its service stations, and ownership in two green technology businesses. Now that the agreement is complete, the strategy is to increase production at Cosin's production facilities to around 5 billion liters of ethanol and export the fuel beyond Brazil's relatively mature market. The hope is that having this improved capacity in production will allow the new partnership to better promote ethanol as a green fuel as well as enhance distribution for U.S. and green markets. And finally, there's a great article in Fast Company by Ariel Schwartz about Nike partnering with nine other companies to form the Green Exchange. The Green Exchange, with companies like Yahoo, Best Buy, Creative Commons, Salesforce.com, and others, will provide an environment for sharing and collaboration of sustainable ideas and intellectual property. For more information about the initiative, visit greenexchange.force.com. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.